I was asked to preach in the global mission service of uh, the general conference in America, in, in North America, a few years back. It, it must be 10 years ago at least, I think. And uh, preached that night. Uh, I, I preached from the Gospel of John. I love the Gospel of John. I could preach from the Gospel of John every sermon, every service, every week. Um, preached from the Gospel of John about the revelation of the name of Jesus. And at the end of that service, uh, we moved into the altar call. And I, it, it quickened in me. And so I asked two of my friends who both happened to be missionaries to come to the platform. I didn't ask them where to stand. I just gave them very simple instructions. I said, I want you to stand one on either side of me and I want you to hold out your hands over the congregation here. And so we did that. One of those men was uh, Brother Charles Robinette, who at that time was our missionary to the German-speaking nations, our superintendent there, and um, powerfully used by God in crusade evangelism all over the world. Powerful man of God. And he stood on one side and lifted up his hands, and, and we prayed together. And on the other side was Brother Nathan Herod, who at that time was our missionary and in the country of Spain, our national superintendent there. And he's the man that I told you about with the gifts of healing and ears popping open all the time. He's, he's amazing. What a great man of God he is. And uh, I got him to stand. I, I didn't tell them where to stand. I just asked them to stand. And they held out their hands over that audience. And there was just a powerful move of the Spirit of God. And uh, eventually, I uh, asked Brother uh, Kleinus to come up, Brother Doug Kleinus, and just take the mic and just lead the altar service. Um, more than one person came to me after that service that had been observing and keeping count, you know, of people that received the Holy Ghost or whatever. This is amazing to me, but it makes sense to me. Most of the people... Now, we didn't have any control over where they sat or which side they came to the altar on, and we didn't even pick which side these brethren stood on. Most of the people who received the baptism of the Holy Ghost that night in that altar service were on the side where Brother Robinette was holding out his hands, praying over people. And most of the people that were healed that night, and there were some miraculous healings that night, they were standing on the side where Brother Herod was holding out his arms, praying over. It just happened that way. Um, it was a work of the Spirit. And the next morning, I was in the, the headquarters hotel, walking through the, the, the hallway next to the restaurant, and there was a, a, a brother that, uh, he was sitting at a table with other ministers, that's usually a trouble sign, and, and he, they're all talking about general conference. And he beckoned me over, and so I'm standing there in front of this table filled with ministers, and he says to me, you should have held onto that microphone last night. The anointing was on you. You could have spoken anything you wanted in that moment, and God would have did it. You, you. And I, I didn't say anything. He's older. By the way, older and elder are two different things. Can I just tell you that? I'm sorry, that was that, Mark Morgan spirits right here. I just stepped in the Mark Morgan spirit again. Um, I, I didn't say anything. Not my place. I just uh, said something polite because I'm Canadian. They're kind of like Australians. And I just said something polite and excused myself. And I walked away and I thought, you don't understand team ministry. And you don't understand body ministry. And you don't understand how a lot of these gifts operate. Because it's not about one person with a microphone in a pulpit. Brothers and sisters, leaders, pastors and teachers and feeders... It's about letting this loose in our ministries and in our services and flowing together. He doesn't need me to say this, but I just walked over to Brother Morgan a few minutes ago and said, is there anything I said this morning that needs to be corrected or amplified or, or whatever? And he said, no, you're fine. Uh, which is why I keep stepping in, whatever. <laughs> why? Because I appreciate and esteem his authority in the spirit. This is not about being a guest speaker. This is about let's have a move of God together. 